Hi girls, we can. We love you. Happy birthday. More life. Happy birthday. More life. Camera. 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 It smells like bonfire now. Do you smell? That's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Literally, hey guys, so we made it to the ski resort. We're in her Airbnb. It's super cute. So when we got here, we all just kind of looked around the house, found our rooms, and it was just already dinner time. So we just made some frozen pizzas, and then we played uh, some board games, drank wine, went to the hot tub, did some s'mores, and I just stepped away. But everyone's pretty much just watching Netflix and just having a good girls' night in. It's 11 o'clock right now, so I'm honestly kind of tired just because I've been like running around with like my head cut off all morning to get here but I also like really do want a good night's sleep because we're going skiing and snowboarding tomorrow and I'll bust my ass pretty much so I need as much energy as I can get and it's gonna be a fun day we're gonna ski we're gonna snowboard we're gonna come back and just like do our makeup get dressed up find like a restaurant and go out and just have like the best like little girls weekend our airbnb is so cute it's like the perfect size the hot tub's awesome it's just like so cute and cozy and this whole area is just really cute and we were able to drive like through the mountains as like the sun was setting which is just such a vibe and so pretty but yeah i just kind of wanted to quickly recap the first night here we're only gonna be here till sunday so it's a quick little trip but i think it'll be fun tomorrow's like the big day of activities so stay tuned for that but until then good night Good morning. It is ski day and I am ready starting to get ready. I have my snow pants on, my little under top, and then there's a bunch that is gonna go on after that. But it's like almost 9 a.m. and we're gonna get going soon. Yeah, I'm super excited. Last night I had an awful night's sleep, but we're not gonna talk about it. We're gonna move past it. We're gonna go on the slopes and just be ski baddies. Still haven't decided if I want to ski or snowboard yet. I don't know. Let me know. What do you guys normally do? Do you ski or do you snowboard? Have you ever done either before? Let me know. What are your thoughts? Tell me. It's gonna be too late by then, but tell, still tell me. <laughs> and I also just remembered I tried to do like a cute little transition last night where I like, you know, you see people on like TikTok and like YouTube and they're like doing the little hand thing and I completely forgot, so. I just wanna quickly do a little OOTD. So this set is from Missy Empire. These shoes, where are these shoes from? Miss Lola. These shoes are from Miss Lola. This jacket is from Skyded. And then this purse is from Boohoo. But pretty much, so let me take you here. Let me take you here. But pretty much we are about to go to dinner and there's a Bold Rock like brewery really close by here that has like a restaurant. So that's what we're about to go for my little birthday dinner. Skiing was, or let me say, we started snowboarding and that was a disaster. So we switched to skiing and then after that it was just like smooth sailing. There may have been a little bit of a missing person of the group for a good amount of the time, but we figured it out. She was fine. She just, essentially her zipper broke and she couldn't get her phone out of her pocket to tell us where she was. But yeah, everyone's good. No one got injured. It was a little messy. It was a little messy, but it was fun. It was expensive, but it was fun. So, so I'm just so excited for dinner. It's just gonna be such so cute. Like I love my little fur coat that I got from Misguided. I'm like obsessed with this jacket. It's a long fur coat. When I studied abroad in Italy, there was just so many Italian women wearing long fur coats like this and they just looked so chic and they just like, to so casually and it was just such a sleigh and I just ever since then I've been obsessed and I finally found one that I love it's faux fur of course it's from misguided I'll link it down below yeah, okay so it's 5 30 so we're about to head to dinner 
I'm so hungry. You guys, I'm so excited. We haven't eaten since breakfast. So we're all a little bit hangry, but I think it'll be all right. It'll be fine. We're gonna eat some really good food, drink some really good drinks, come back, have another girls night, go in the hot tub. It's gonna be a vibe. It's gonna be fun. Let's go. All of these to the table for me. What a gem. What a gem. I'm so excited. Hey guys, what's up? It's my birthday. It's my Jordan year. I'm 23 and I'm so excited. I'm just so happy. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning and I woke up early and everyone's just been giving me so much love and I just feel so grateful and I'm so happy and I'm just, I don't know, it's gloomy outside and I haven't left my bedroom but I'm just, I'm feeling good and I'm having such a good day but I'm about to get ready to go to like a birthday lunch with some friends so we're gonna get ready together. I want you guys to be here with me on my birthday so we're gonna get ready together. I just wanted to like get ready together, talk with you guys and do all those things. I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror, so ignore that, but yeah, so I'm 23, you guys. Even though like it feels like I've been 23 for the past like couple months. I don't know, maybe it's because my birthday is in February, like once the new year hits, I already feel like I'm whatever age I'm turning that year. Like in January, I was already telling people that I'm 23, cause I mean, I pretty much was. And I don't know if maybe it's because it's my Jordan year, I just feel like, I feel a lot of good things coming. I feel very focused. I feel very grateful. For some reason, I just feel like 23 is just like a good age. I probably say that about every year that I turn. And like I said, it's because it's my 20 year. I just feel like it's something special, but really want to like hit a lot of my goals this year. You know, I, at 22, I graduated college. I started this channel. I got a new job. And I feel like all of those things started in 22, so I feel like 23 is my year to really just like bring all of those experiences to like the next level, you know? I feel like I started a lot of things at 22, so I really need to like push myself and reach a lot of goals this year. Like that's really what I want to do for myself. I just want to manifest a really good year. I just feel like long story short, I'm ready to have a good year. I'm ready to do the thing. But yeah, so that's my words of wisdom. Let's, let's keep it light. Let's keep it fun. Let's keep going. Now that I put my concealer on, for 25 minutes so excited for the rest of today i can't wait to eat i can't wait to put my birthday outfit on it's so cute it's just such a casual slay and that's why i like it just because i know i'm not going out tonight oh my gosh what am i doing one second let me look in the mirror real quick i think birthdays are just so much fun they're so important to me like that's literally a day to celebrate your life like, come on. <laughs> and I know not everyone is like that. I know not everyone is a big birthday person. I am. I think they're so important. I think they're so much fun. I just love being able to celebrate again just this life. But yeah, so who else is a Pisces? Not to be biased or anything, but I personally think Pisces is a really good sign. I've never met a Pisces I don't like. But I don't know, I feel like there's kind of a bad rep that we're like too emotional, but really I just think we're the right amount of emotional. I just like how Pisces are very like compassionate people. We're very intuitive. Like we can catch vibes very easily. At least I can. I feel like I can pick up on like, I just can pick up, I know I hate, I hate to say it, but like I can pick up on vibes very well. I can kind of like catch how other people are feeling. Like once I have a, a gut feeling about something, it's usually right. And we're just very intuitive, compassionate. We can think with emotion. We can react with emotion. But I also think people kind of sometimes will look at that as the bad thing. But I feel like when you can, are very in tune with your emotions, you can comprehend kind of your emotions and other people's emotions. It's sometimes easier to communicate those things. I, I think it's just healthier in general to be able to communicate your emotions. So being intuitive and being like that. And I think that's why Pisces can be such good friends and such good people sometimes. is just because they're very upfront about how they feel. It's never like a game, if that makes sense. Obviously, there's like other signs that I really like too. Maybe I'll make a whole video about like signs and astrology and stuff like that But comment down below if you're a Pisces and if you're not let me know what you are 
and yeah so that's my little astrology birthday rant for the day i'm pretty much done with my makeup i just need to do my lipstick where is my lipstick Alrighty, let's do the finishing touches i don't know if i ever said this but i feel like i found like my perfect lipstick combo so pretty much i actually prefer a different one right now i have the kqw beauty lip liner in 2.5 i actually prefer the 1.5 the 1.5 is like my absolute favorite but every time i walk into ulta it's like never there so i just need to order it online but i just haven't gotten around to it but yeah so the 1.5 kkw beauty lip liner a little bit of kylie jenner's one wish liner it just adds like a little bit more pink into it and then finished off with the kkw beauty 1.5 lipstick so the 1.5 liner the one wish kylie jenner liner and then the 1.5 lipstick so pretty much what i do is take the 2.5 or preferred 1.5 liner and line it all the way around my lips just make a good line around it and then i kind of fill in the corners a little bit to kind of just to like shade it out a little bit and kind of give the illusion that they're a little bit like bigger and plumper and i don't know it just makes me feel like a little brad stall and i love that and then next I take the One Wish lip liner by Kylie Jenner and I just put it kind of in the center where I didn't have the 1.5 slash 2.5 liner and I fill it in and kind of even put it over more of that brown parts to give it a little bit more of a pink undertone. So then next I take the 1.5 lipstick and this one is actually always 1.5. I know I kind of go back and forth between the 2.5 and the 1.5 liner. Again, I prefer the 1.5 but it's always the 1.5 lipstick and I just kind of tap that all around the lips and then I really fill it in the center since it's a little bit of a lighter color just to again give that illusion of like plumper lips and, and just make the like center really light and I don't know what again it does but it just does something that is how I do my perfect lipstick color I kind of thought about doing like a little bit more to my eyes but I just hate doing a lot to my eyes and having to like try to take it off it's just a lot I just like a really good all casual beat you know okie dokie smoky chunky loki so next we're gonna do my hair so for this look since my dress is like long sleeve and like a lot which you'll see i just wanted to do like a really slick back like pony and have it like braided it's been like one of my go-to looks recently i just kind of like how like slightly oh Oh my gosh i just like how kind of like slightly edgy it is it's different from then my like typical <laughs> low bun but it still gives like that similar look it's just a little bit different and who doesn't love like a good long pony braid because i like like this middle part i can only have it so high then i always go back and just kind of slick it some more You know, you'd be surprised how hard it is to use this little screen as a mirror. Cause she's tiny. So once we have the pony, that's when we can just braid it. Like another reason I really don't like to just put my hair up high, besides from my lack of favoritism towards my hairline, but also I just, it's like almost impossible for me to get my baby hairs to just stay down. They just don't ever cooperate. And it's just a lot of work to get them to cooperate. So I just prefer to do it like this. It's just easier. So after I got the braid all braided, I then take a smaller hair tie and just kind of tie it up, finish it off. I always like a little bit of a smaller hair tie just because it's less visible. And then I look for any bumps that kind of happened just from things loosening up and getting out the way. And I just take some bobby pins and pin it down just to try to keep it, you know, real smooth, real slick. Next, I'm gonna go in with some whey matte pomade. You guys, this this smells so good. I, can't, I I'm obsessed with the way this smells. And I always use this just as like a finishing touch just to really get all those little baby hairs down and just make it real silky and kind of almost a little bit of that lustrous light that just makes it seem like so sleek. But yeah, I just really love this stuff. And I'm probably gonna add a little bit more just to get make sure all of those hairs are down. Always, always gotta finish it off with some earrings. Okay, so now that my makeup's done, my hair's done, let's get let's get going to the best part. Let's get this outfit on. Let's get my birthday outfit on. I'm so excited. Whatever, we're gonna leave this mess. Who cares? It's my birthday. All right, guys, I'm all ready for lunch. 
I'm so, so obsessed with this dress. It is from thecrypt.com. They have the coolest pieces, dresses, stuff like that, and I'm so obsessed with this dress, you guys. It is by far one of my favorite dresses, and then I have my Boohoo bag, which I wear all the time now. It's one of my favorites, but yeah, so this is the the OOTD, I have my Public Desire heels on. I got these from actually ASOS though. But yeah, <laughs> it's my birthday. I'm so excited, but okay, I'm about to go pick up my friend and we're gonna go get lunch. So thank you guys for getting ready with me. I'm so excited and I'm just so happy that it's my birthday. And I, and I also just wanna say I'm super, super grateful for all you guys who watch my videos and comment and like and do all those things and so yeah to more life thank you guys for watching i love you guys see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.